ever feel like you're only scratching the surface with ChatGPT? Imagine unlocking its full potential with just a few tweaks. In today's video, I'm going to show you the five essential settings that can transform how you use this powerful tool, whether you're automating tasks, brainstorming ideas, or scaling your business. And make sure you stay until the end because setting number five combined with the bonus trick I'm sharing will completely change how ChatGPT responds to every single prompt you give it. Where AI meets ambition. Hey there, I'm Michelle Anderson and welcome to my channel where I help entrepreneurs leverage AI to scale their business. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because every week I'm going to share actionable strategies that will save you hours of work. First up, let's talk about deleting ChatGPT's memory. Did you know that the AI can sometimes develop biases based on previous conversations? To get the most accurate and unbiased responses, it's crucial to clear its memory regularly, but not entirely. So here's how you can reset selectively so that ChatGPT stays sharp and relevant without losing the context of your key projects. So what are you going to do? You're going to come up here in your ChatGPT and you're going to click on your, the icon. You're going to want to go to settings. Then you're going to click on personalization. So you can see here that my memory is on. You definitely want it on. You don't want to clear it and you want to click on manage. So you don't want that bias. So you're going to definitely do this on a regular basis, especially if you interact with ChatGPT a lot. So you want to look through and just make sure everything here is relevant. If you see something that's not, then you just go over here and click on the little forget button here, and that will clear out that specific memory. So this is just to help keep it tailored to what you uh, use. All right, so tip number two is custom instructions. ChatGPT needs to know you, your goals, your style, and your preferences to give better responses. So I'm gonna show you how to set up custom instructions so that it can tailor it specifically for you. Now imagine if you're walking down the street and you meet a stranger and they don't know anything about you. So this is how we can give it some information so it's more like a friend and it knows you and it knows what you want and how to respond to it. So you're going to back out once here and look for custom instructions and you're going to click on here. And so there's basically two boxes where you can fill in. And when you click on the box, there's some thought starters to help you get started. You're not limited. Obviously, you can put one here, whatever you want, ChatGPT to know about you. But some of the questions that it puts in there is, where are you based? What do you do for work? What are your hobbies and interests? What subjects can you talk about for hours? And what are some goals that you have? So imagine you, all the things that you want ChatGPT to know about you. So that's what you would put in here. And you have a 1500 character limit. And so the next box is, how would you like ChatGPT to respond whenever you're interacting with it, whenever you're talking, asking it a question? How formal or casual do you want it to be? How long or short should their responses be? How do you want to be addressed? And should ChatGPT have opinions on topics or stay neutral? So you definitely want to put in there how you want to interact with it. Uh, and then you want to definitely make sure that all of these are turned on at the bottom. All right. Tip three is about maximizing the projects feature. Now, if you are on a free plan, you definitely won't have this feature available. And if you watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that there is one tool if you're going to pay for, I would definitely recommend ChatGPT because it's an all around workhorse and you can do lots of different things with it. Uh, so if you're on the free plan, you won't see this next feature, but it is the projects feature. So you can see here, uh, this is where the projects features are. You click on new project, you give it a name, whatever you want to do with it. As an example, you can imagine using it to analyze ad analytics, or you can plan a product launch with it, and it's all organized in one place. So if you are doing ads analytics, in it, maybe you would give it a name. Maybe you would go in here. So there's two spots that you can add information. One is adding files 
any PDFs or any kind of content coding, anything that you have, you can add here. And then instructions in terms of how you want it to respond, um, what role do you want it to be in. And so let's say add analytics. Maybe I have downloaded all of the um, analytics from my ads and I would upload the file here and I can ask it questions, uh, get some feedback on it. And then maybe next the next uh, month, maybe you're doing it on a month basis, you can add the next one up and then it's got both of those and it can actually analyze the two different ones and you can interact with it. Um, so I have one here for my YouTube content planning and I've given it extra instructions on how I want my YouTube channel to be structured and so that anytime I'm planning, I can come in here and just interact with it in a chat. Business and sales coaching, I have one here. So I've actually added some PDFs in terms of information about best business practices and some books that I've had in PDF form. And then I've given it some instructions. So anytime I have like a business or a sales question, I can come in here and ask it questions. So projects give you a way to organize your work and it just makes it easier to switch contexts and stay productive. Now let's explore GPTs. Have you checked out the GPT store? These pre-configured versions of ChatGPT are designed for specific tasks. And you can find that you can, if you wanna look at what are available, go to explore GPTs. And this is where you can search for existing GPTs. Maybe you want to have some um, financial advisor, right? And so you ask it to search and when it searches, it'll give you a list of ones. Now, which ones do you want to use? You definitely want to choose the ones that have the most conversations because it's had the most interactions. And so in a sense, it's trained better, if that makes sense. There are all sorts of GPTs out there. There's the financial, there's lawyer, there's ones for SEO. I've put in here WordPress. If you need some help with your WordPress site, you can go in to something like this and it will just give you more tailored information. So these chat GPTs have already been trained on whatever information, um, prompt engineering. There are so many out there. All right. Let's talk about a search extension, which can make your searches a lot more effective. So this tool is a huge time saver when you need real time information and you want to keep a conversation going. And it is a chat GPT Chrome extension. Now there's a lot of them out there. So I recommend going directly to the OpenAI site. I'm going to put this link in the description and then you'll be able to download the Chrome extension and install it. And you can see I have it here now. So that means that anytime I open a new tab and I wanna ask it a question like, um, what's the best time to travel to Paris? I can ask it a question and now instead of just showing the list of links to click to and, and to go in and check those out, um, I have here uh, the information and it shows you what sources it used. So you can see here a couple different sources. The great thing about this is that now I can interact with it. I can continue the conversation and it knows what I've already searched. Uh, it knows what already has been answered. So I can continue the conversation. So definitely using the um, search extension can really make your finding information faster. Now, if I ever just wanted to use Google and I don't want to use that, then I'm just going to go to Google. And then I can actually type my question in here and then it will actually be Google. So finally, the bonus tip, you want to choose the right GPT model depending on the task that you're working on. So knowing the strengths of each model can make a massive difference. So if, and of course it depends on if you're free version or paid version, but whenever you're starting a chat, you can see, and you can actually switch between the models sometimes depending on what you're doing. Um, you can go up here and choose which model you want to use. Now you can see here, I don't have the options. So I'm gonna go to new chat. And if I'm in the 01, it's definitely more advanced. It has a lot more um, 
advanced abilities and reasoning. So if I have something more complicated to do, um, I might go to the O1. If I want to do some certain brainstorming or something like that, the limitations are that if you're using O1, you're going to go through your um, your limits faster. If it, there's only so much, so many conversations you can have with O1, depending on what your limits are. And so uh, if I go here to view the tools, you can see I only have the use of reasoning. That's the only tool available. And I cannot search the internet with this one. So if it's something more complex and you need to have a conversation, definitely O1 is going to be really good. But if you want to use these other tools, then you're definitely going to want to go with O4. And then you also have a lot more, uh, a lot higher of a limit. So if you have a lot of things that you need to do, a lot of like writing or something like that, maybe you need to use O4. So which of these tips are you most excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have any specific questions about ChatPT, drop those too. I'd love to cover them in future videos. If you found these ChatGPT settings helpful, you are going to love what I'm sharing next week. Imagine having your own personal tech support available 24-7, solving any computer problem in minutes without paying a monthly fee. It's free. So I've discovered an AI tool that's like having a genius IT expert on speed dial. So subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss this amazing free tool. Trust me, you will never struggle with tech issues alone again. See you next time.